So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here and today we're doing a little toy hunting at a new Walmart we've never been to and they do have a ton of stuff. You saw the Transformers in the beginning and they have a bunch of the Mutant Mayhem figures and plushies. We have some four packs of some different versions of those versions of the Turtles. Then we have like the Battle Damage versions with Villain to go with them. As you can see the Mikey and Leather Leatherhead. Uh, we do have the Donnie and Rocksteady I believe it was. And then we had Raphael and Bebop. And then we have like Raphael with his scooter or motorbike. Then we have the uh, their van there. And then we do have some Playmates, some more Playmates stuff here. And that's like the movies version, but they're all wearing the trench coats. I don't know why they, they gave all the turtles trench coats. It was only Raphael that freaking wore it. So I don't know why Michelangelo and Leonardo has one. Then here we have some of the old school stuff and some of the Mutant Mayhem stuff as well. Then over here we have some Marvel stuff, so some Marvel Legends. We do have, who was that? Spider-Woman, I believe. Then we have Tarantula, I believe it was called. Then we have a lecturer's version of Daredevil, which I recently did buy. We have Shuri as well. Then we do have... Different version of Loki, Captain Marvel, uh, this guy. Then we have Ant-Man from Quantum Mania. And then we have this guy back here too. I don't know who he is because my hand was in the way of his name. And then uh, they did have some more on the top. So we have this version of Scarlet Witch where she looked kind of scary. Then we have Ultron, I believe that was. And I don't know who that is. And I don't know who that is. And, uh, yeah, so that's who they had with Marvel Legends. This Walmart was actually pretty stocked up with a lot of figures. Just wait as we go along. There's a lot of stuff that they did have. So for the DC McFarlane toys here, they have, uh, I forgot that guy's name from Black Adam. And then they had, um, Adam Smasher, the bigger version. Then they had two different versions of Blue Beetle. Very tempted to get one of them, at least. I'm not gonna buy both of them, because I'm not falling for your trap, McFarlane. Then they had, uh, Dr. Phantom, uh, Dr. Phantom, Dr. Fate there as well, but very tempted to get one of these Blue Beetles. I'm debating on which one to get. I do like how this one has a bunch of alternate hands, so I'm leaning more towards this one, but I do like the weapons more with the other one. Then we have this version of Superman with the horrible face sculpt. Then we have Black Lightning, I believe he's called. They had a bunch of them. And this is a gold label version there. Uh, Sabak, that's his name. Sabak! So they had two of those, and then they had two of the Atom Smashers as well. So they had an all right amount of McFarlane toy stuff. Then moving along here, I think we're getting more into Star Wars. As you can see, some plushies, a little Grogu there. And we do see there is a lot of stuff here, actually. I've never seen Migs Mayfield in the wild. So this is another one I'm very tempted to get. So right now it's between him and Blue Beetle. They do have the Luke Skywalker and Grogu set as well, which is pretty overpriced, if you ask me. Then we do have Princess Leia from Return of the Jedi. Then we do have, oh god, I keep forgetting their names. I'm sorry, guys, I can't remember their names right now. But we do have a bunch of the villains from the Obi-Wan series. We do have Ahsoka from her series, and we do have this droid as well, which I was kind of tempted to get as you can, well, you couldn't really tell that I wanted to get it because you're not in mine. Then we do have this alien who does the beep, beep, bleep, play that same song. Same song, here we go. Uh, <laughs> they did have more Star Wars stuff uh, on the top here. They did have this dude, the Inquisitor, I believe he's called. Uh, and then they did have this woman from who is pretty much one of the villains in Ahsoka. That's who she did fight in that one episode in The Mandalorian as well. Uh, we do have some AEW figures, WWE stuff here, Masters of the Universe. They did have a couple Power Rangers, not too much though, just the Yellow and Red Ranger. Then we do have some G.I. Joe, some Destro, uh, Snake Eyes with Timber, the two-pack here, which I do have. Then we do have this guy and this guy here who looks like Tugboat from WWE back in the day. Was that his name, Tugboat? Uh, but yeah, I think I might get this Blue Beetle, which I'll tell you right now, I did buy it, all right? I did, okay? And then they did have this, like, retro card, uh, Boba Fett, but I do have, like, the badass deluxe version, so I was like, yeah, I don't need that. Uh, so moving on here, we have some, like, Sonic and, and Mario stuff here, like Nintendo stuff and gaming stuff. Then we do have some of the... Bandai Naruto figures, I forgot what they're called, but they did have the new Gohan here, the Evolve Gohan. This is a newer figure, actually, so surprised that that was there. They randomly had trunks mixed in with all the kid Naruto's, and we did have some Demon Slayer stuff. These look more like statues. They did have, did have just Muzan, uh, Giyu, and 
Tanjiro. That's all they, they had. I don't know why I'm not showing it, but there he is, Tanjiro right there. But they do look more like statues. Like, I don't really see joints in them. So, uh, yeah, I don't really think they're, like, super articulated figures. That's why I haven't bought any of them. There is some I do want to get, though, of, like, Inosuke and stuff. But this looks really cool, this little pack here of uh, Tanjiro using uh, one of his sword techniques. Then over here, we have a bunch of Funko Pops, which I don't really ever see this many at Walmart, which... I was a little bit surprised, but on the other side, we had a bunch of cool stuff. So a lot of NECA toy stuff here. We have some best action stuff, some McFarland stuff as well. So as you, as you can see, we have the 1990 original movies two-pack. So we do have Splinter and Shredder. Then we do have Oroko Sake and Hamato Yoshi two-pack. We had two of them there. And then above them, we have some of the anime hero stuff. So we have Rowan Ozora, which I just got the SA Trigger Arts version. Then we do have Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 from Dragon Stars here. They actually look pretty... Uh, pretty decent, especially for that price point as well. And then behind them, we had Goku from the superhero movie. Let me get him out here so I could show you. And there, there you go. Looks all right for a $20 figure. Not too bad, you know. Um, there was some more Dragon Stars, but right here we have NECA's Halloween Michael Myers, which looks pretty cool. I'm not a big, like, horror movie fan, so I never really buy these. Then we have the NECA Slash. That figure I do have, which is pretty badass. And we have the Battle Damaged Shredder from the Mirage Comics run which is a pretty cool figure. They just needed to update the goddamn waist joint because it's just a freaking swivel. The next tier, we have Vegeta from Superhero. Then we had Gohan from the Cell Saga. And we, then we had Go, Gohan from the Superhero movie. And then they randomly had Bardock. I was very tempted to get it, but I didn't. Uh, but I do love Bardock as a character. And then behind him was Piccolo, as you can see. So they, they had all different characters from Dragon Stars, which is cool. Then over here, we do have Green Arrow. I forgot who was in the front, the black and white version. Then Dr. Fate as well. They also did have the Batman. He was on the top. Oh, that's Black Adam in that black and white version. Uh, then we did have a Gunslinger spawn with the Gatling gun, which looked pretty cool. We have this dude. I forgot the name of the show. He's from this show here with Ang. Uh, but this is best action here. They had Vicious from Cowboy Bebop, and they had a couple different Ang's. But the other guy is from... Oh my god, why can't I think of the name of that show? Uh, then we did have the SH Figure Arts latest release, Frieza. I almost did buy this as well, but I ended up not buying it. He was only like 35 bucks. Then this is the first time I've seen the NECA Gargoyles Broadway in any stores. And he looks pretty damn awesome. He has some dope axes with him, but you can see the alternate hands. He has popcorn, interchangeable head sculpt. It's just these figures take up so much goddamn space with their wingspan, man. They are really cool figures, though. And then they had that that Talag guy, uh, a couple of those. But yeah, I, I like that they had Broadway out there. This Walmart is definitely stocked up with some pretty awesome stuff, as you can see. Then we have like a, uh, we had some Gundam stuff here. Not too sure what line this is. But they had a couple different characters, as you could see. But they had a, like a couple of this same character right there and then they did have a uh, pretty badass shanks statue down there i'm gonna give you a closer look right now so yeah i told you it was pretty damn cool looking and then they did have a dabby as well for my hero academia pretty awesome some more gundam and that is pretty much it but anyway that is my toy hunting video at walmart hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments if you recently went on a toy hunt and what you found thanks for watching and don't forget I will catch you on the next episode of Daredevil 19, and I will also see you guys later.